the cold spot was so big that I didn't know how, if I should just move or if I should just go to the other side of the counter. And then it started attacking me. It was almost like an invisible man grabbing her ponytail and pulling it. And I, I didn't even know what to do. I was just so scared. At that point, I knew definitely something was going on in this house. I just felt better when Raymond was there. And I just asked him if he could just stay over. We just woke up from a dead sleep. We both look over towards the doorway. We hear a creak in the floor. And the door immediately just opens up. The hairs basically stood up on my back. All of a sudden, the room gets cold, like really cold. and. We definitely knew there was some type of presence in the room with us. I felt the cold at my feet, and then all of a sudden, I started feeling it up my legs, and it just started getting heavier. And it was completely overpowering me. It got like right in my face. All I kept saying was like, this man's face. I just felt helpless. Finally, it just, it just seemed to just dissipate. And the peace came back and you can almost sense the presence leave. 